white piece it says here is a preview of the off-white and nike air force one mids that are due to come out so i think most people are aware or most people would mind and would sense knew that the collaborations between virgil and nike were never going to stop anytime soon nike have kind of lucked out with virgil because he essentially is a bit of a workhorse um he loves to be busy he loves to collaborate and if you're someone like nike and you know most of your kind of um bigger releases are coming from collaborations um then you're going to be exp you're going to be trying to squeeze as much as you can out of a creative like virgil because he's willing to do the job as well because i'm sure you know getting a nike deal and having a collaboration is one thing but doing the work must be a bit much especially if you've got your own brand going usually that's what happens right if you've got your own popping brand nike come up to you or you get the opportunity to go to them and pitch something it's mutually beneficial, but you've got a lot of stuff going on, right? You've got your own brand to look after, a store, an agency, whatever it may be. So it takes a lot of time. So after the first one, you might be like, you know what? I'm kind of done for a bit. I need to have a bit of a rest and maybe focus on my thing. Maybe the attention you got from the Nike collab is increase your sales. You need to double down on that, whatever it may be. But usually, you know, you have to kind of, well, you have to know where your bread is buttered, right? Look after home base. So not a lot of people would keep on doing their colors because you just don't have the time to do so. But again, like I said, you know, Virgil is probably the the greatest multi hyphenate, you know, in the history of the game. So it makes sense why he kind of continually keep going with it. And he essentially, to be completely honest, too, even though I'm not the biggest fan of these, I still think he has a fresh outlook when it comes to collaborations that would lend itself to doing many, especially with Nike when it comes to the models that he picks. They just make sense. And this is a Nike Air Force One mid classic, you know, Air Force One shape. It's funny because when I was growing up, there was a thing about people wearing mids. It was kind of looked at as like a cheaper, sort of like a, not cheap, like a faker version of a high or a low. Like you either got the low or you got the high when I was growing up. So a lot of the kind of um, UK garage sort of like, um, I guess I guess you'd call them UK UK garage trappers, right? Or the kind of the guys that got money back in the day that had like the massive chaps, right? The gold chaps, the gold tooth, who drove, who rode motorbikes and stuff, and you know, um, super bikes. Sorry, no motorbikes, super bikes. Who drove Lexuses and shit and had Versace shirts. They'd always wear Air Force One highs or lows. It was never mids. And only when I got a bit older and I started to buy my own shoes that suddenly mids became a thing in school. People would buy all black mids or white mids to wear on maybe non school uniform day. But when I was growing up young, young, it was never a vibe. But nowadays, of course, you know, people love mids, people love highs. Um, they are what they are. Air Force Ones are kind of a classic shape. And again, like I've always said, they're definitely one of my top three sneakers of all time. Top three sneakers would always be um Air Jordan Four the Jordan Four, um, the Air Force One and the MX ninety. Those are my top three sneakers of all time. Like I could wear any of those pairs of shoes and be good for the end of time. So it's good to see Virgil doing an Air Force One. Uh, again a mid, a flip on it. There's loads of interesting DLs you can see here that again would make it a bit of a fresh idea to come in on the market it's also funny that i think someone pointed out on twitter too because i saw the original picture whoever leaked this um took the picture with their hand and, and took it in front of some weird barb wired sort of thing but then every sort of blog that then picked it up basically you know did chucked it in photoshop and did the old black background um edit and took away his hand and the background and all sorts of things so he doesn't even get any credit for the picture that he basically leaked but you know the game is the game so from what we can see, it sort of looks like a weird kind of fly wire type material. I don't think it is. There's camo sort of streaks on the inside. You've got a translucent, in, you've got a translucent swoosh. You've got the same translucent sort of material webbed on the back of the strap that goes leads all the way down to the mud guard. You've got this interesting plastic heel cup that you don't get on normal Air Force One. Maybe this is inside out though, because maybe this heel cap you get when your shoe it's inside your shoe that you don't see when you're wearing it. So maybe he's flipped it on the inside, not too sure. He's obviously got the cable ties here, the signature that he has on his own shoes. But interestingly enough, the cable ties are just laces this time. They're not actual like, you know, pulley sort of lacy things it looks like. You've got a little tail tab here at the back, which you don't get on Air Force Ones. A little, le a little loop to put it through. You've got this weird sort of wavy pattern on the midsole that kind of blends in a little bit with these weird kind of ripples. Um, you've got a rendition of a waffle sole here on the classic nike runner on the toe and on the midfoot of the sneaker which i'm not too sure what that's about maybe it's a performance thing who knows 
um but yeah interesting makeup like i like the makeup of it i think in different colors it's going to look absolutely insane imagine this in the black obviously uh, virgil's signature sort of black with silver swoosh is going to look bad like insanely good um obviously imagine a silver swoosh and it's sort of like translucent material i'm not sure how that's going to be applied actually i wonder how you'd color something like this it's sort of like a polyurethane also what's that what's that plastic called we used to use it in school when we would kind of make stuff in dt i forgot but it's very flexible it can somehow sometimes come opaque but it's also can come colored but i wonder how you'd get that sort of chromey finish that he likes when he swoosh on there i don't know i'm not really too sure but again i love the i love the design of it i love that it's sort of flipped inside out um there's different little bits on here in terms of how it's been constructed on the upper the lace loops are entirely different to what you'd expect on an air force one they've sort of got the lace loops that you get on a oh what's the shoe that did this it's not a lahar but it's sort of like that kind of style of a lahar and something on like the atg where the lace loops are sort of on the inside and they go like that like a like a like a number eight on the inside right instead of how you do them with the lace loops on the side in terms of here so that's an interesting flip on them but again interested to see more colorways definitely will see them very soon now that the leaks have come out you know nothing stays secret when it comes to nike they're in their case basically incapable of keeping anything behind um closed doors or close to their chest because people just love the brand too much and want to let everybody know what they've seen and heard um people are quick to gossip about stuff that they've heard about nike and so, so it's literally impossible to keep that under wraps but let's read some of the text it says here, Virgil Abloh has a, pan, has a penchant for taking a classic Nike um, the, 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 or Jordan silhouette and flipping its appearance in a way that still keeps the elements of its iconic heritage but shows off its unique design language. And just before his forthcoming Jordan 2 collaboration, which I think looked pretty cool with the pre crumbled midsole, make their into the, way into the market. The luxury streetwear designer is already previewing more of his come, um, one of his piece being the off white and Air Force One mid. As of now, we only have a single advantage point of the kicks with medial side but we already see the shoes are jam-packed with interesting details called cool. Macarita we've seen it missiles have been given the da -da 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 -da. No really stay a service at this time but you can likely expect more information around this to pop up in the coming months let's see what the comments say actually because again I'm, I'm a fan of what Virgil does with Nike I think like I said it's a marriage made in heaven I don't think everyone can collaborate to this level of turnaround as much as he can and also the fact that he kind of takes really unconventional approach because I think if he was just designing colorways this would have died a long time ago but the fact that he's able to kind of take classic silhouettes like the text pointed out and flip them right whether it's flip them inside out outside in change the insoles change the midsoles change how the laces work like all these little clever little things it really kind of adds and gives the collaborations an extra sort of umph then it would just be doing straight collab just doing straight um colorway changes um even the air force ones i mean they've got little details that kind of make them a bit more interesting than the classic air force one maybe that goes back to his little design ethos about the three percent raw something right but let's see what they said um the comments virgil is the island boy of fashion trolling on purpose and it works um but that's the thing is it really trolling when you're able to sell these things to general customers and shit it's not really trolling it's just a different approach to designing shoes but i guess you know when you have people making when you have the conventional sort of sneaker designers like Pata and Clot, and then you have this, I can understand why it kind of can look a bit abrasive and sort of look like he's taking a piss, right? When you think of those kind of classic guys, right? Like the Soul Boxes, um, um, even the Slam City Skates, like people that just do classic undefeated, right? Um, people that do classic collaborations or just make, you know, take, take classic models and sort of flip them a little bit, but not too crazy. You know, nothing that you kind of make you want to question your love for the brand or love for the sneaker model itself. But it continues. Um, another comment says here, on that note, I'm done with the internet for today. Someone says here, what in the hell is going on with the soul? Is that bad Photoshop? Is it disintegrating? The more you look at it, the better it gets. The stitching on the strap, the shoelace is tangled up in some Apple headphones. How can anyone defend this shoe? <laughs> okay. This look is, um, uh, this looks like those MMMH sneakers with melted soles. I don't know what that is. And um, what the fuck is going on with these? Like Virgil just pointing at random stuff and it shows. It looks like oh, so whack and devoid of functionality. And it's not even an any Aerosol Hue acronym stuff that looks forward, um, looking forward thinking and cool after mm, let's not think that that aerosol hue air force one people talk a lot of smack about it now but it didn't sell out instantly people were kind of on the fence about it until people would swag side wearing them people didn't start saying oh no they look actually quite good people were a bit on the fence so even the prestos that came out later they took a long time to sell so 
not everyone that does forward figure stuff stuff sells and also this idea that you're meant to have functional trainers like if you want a functional trainer go get a running shoe go get something you can hike in sneakers lifestyle things are not meant to function they're just meant to floss and to drip in yes some this might be some elements in it that are functional but for the most part they're not designed for you to go hiking in they're designed for you to kind of go to Paris fashion week and you know stunt on all the all, all the all the n-words that you see out there those legit look terrible. Virgil doesn't know off white. Doesn't own off white anymore, and it shows. What? What's that? That's a weird thing to say. Um, he's never owned off white entirely, though. And it? it's always been a kind of joint thing with New Guards Group. If I'm not mistaken, has he sold his stake in it? Maybe he has. I don't see. It. It's a weird comment. Um. Oh my God, what's happening? It doesn't even like Air Force Ones. It doesn't even look like an Air Force One. Yeah, it does. It looks like an Air Force One. It looks conventional. Um. What the reimagine literally. Um, the word of 2021 i'm currently done with fashion is reimagine the word of 2021 yeah maybe it is because sustainability was definitely the word of 2020 now definitely reimagine might be still crazy to me that something this hideous won't be hitting outlets by reselling for multiple times um but this is the thing do you honestly think if this was made by a random store that it wouldn't resell for a high amount so it wouldn't sell out it's an interesting inter interpretation of an air force one don't you think i think it'll do pretty well um and also there's no way of telling what sells out and what doesn't some things just don't hit well some things do depend it doesn't really make sense really the resale market for the most part there are some brands you can kind of count on supreme being one of them undefeated nowadays especially with their kind of um record with jordans maybe but there's no guarantee most certainly i don't want the bait um, duh, duh. this reminds of the family guy episode with the quagmires the real estate guy <laughs> anyone can sell you a dream home but it takes a real time to sell you junk okay well i guess the conventional ones they would have wanted were these so i guess whatever we see in these so i guess these kind of mock-ups that we saw are basically what we see up up, up top but because we just see color codes we just assume it's just going to be a classic air force one when instead it's always going to be something similar to this so maybe that's what we end up seeing but i think i think the above right the above which you see here come on load up my screen this sort of makeup of a shoe with the white and the webbing and all this sort of stuff and the reinforced thing and the transition so duh, 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 done in the classic sort of air force one colorways and like the you know flossing all white and the uh, might rub your home all black i think they're still going to work really well personally but again no release date um Everyone kind of complaining about them is going to be the same like every other shoe Virgil puts out. People complain. People say shit. It still sells out. It resells for bears. And it just keeps moving in it. 